This video is about layer management. What we're looking at is a drawing of a single family house and uh, that drawing was done so that the foundation, the first floor, the second floor, the roof plan are sitting in the same location. As a result, of course, it's unreadable and you'd have trouble working on the drawing and you'd certainly have trouble laying it out. Let's take a look at some layer tools that'll help us manage that. Layer Properties Manager, if I go over here, I've got all layers, all used layers, and then I have a filter called all thawed layers. Right now I have all layers turned on and if you'll notice FL1 is floor 1 and the layers relating to the first floor all start with the same uh, letters FL1, FL2, FL2, FND so those are separating the first floor, the second floor and the foundation. So we're going to go over here to the tab I mean the, the button that says new properties filter. On the new properties filter I'll call this one FL1 under the name, I'll select and immediately get the asterisk, which is a wild card meaning everything, and I'll type FL1 here, and what that's going to do is to filter only the layers that begin with FL1 so that I can now go back and pick OK. I'll make another filter. This one I'll call FL2. I'll go down to the name, type FL2, pick OK, go back and do another filter. This one I'll call FND. Go down to the name, type FND, pick OK. So now what I've done is created filters that group just the related layers together that I'd like. Now what I want to do is control the visibility because at the moment the visibility of these layers is not controlled. It still looks like that. The only thing that it does is list them in groups. So I still have all, I still have all used, I still have now FL1, FL2 foundation and all thawed layers. Um, now, if I go back to FL1 and get all FL1 layers, one of the things I can do is to set one of them current and go down to the bottom and pick Invert Filter. And then I can come over and just say, let's freeze all the layers that are not layers beginning with FL1. That's what the inverted filter does. Come back out, it looks like that. When I take a look at the drawing, I've now got just those layers that relate to FL1. Now, I'm going to go back and I'm going to save this layer state which is layer states manager I'm going to select layer states pick new FL1 pick OK now I could export this so that I could bring it into another drawing that had the same layer names I'm just going to close this one I'm going to go FL2 make FL2 my current layer I can't do that until I thought so let's thaw all these layers that begin with FL2 make that my current layer invert the filter once again go and grab all the layers that are not FL2 layers freeze all of those layers I come back out now you'll see that I've got only the uh, elements that relate to the second floor I go back to layer property manager I go up here to the save layer states seems like I've already done that let me just delete it so we can do it once again so what I'm going to do now is make a new layer state FL2 Put a description if I want or not. I come down here and then just pick close. Now I have one layer state called FL2. I can go back over to my layer states, select FL1 and then restore it. I come back out and now the only thing showing are the layers related to FL1. Make this a little bit smaller so you can see things change as we go. All right, we're going to do uh, one more filter. We'll go down to the filter FND. I'll highlight everything. Thaw all the layers that start with FND. Invert my filter. Highlight everything. And freeze all the layers that don't start with FND. Oh, I didn't change the default. I can't freeze layer FL1. That's currently the default layer. So I'm going to uninvert the filter, make FND my default layer. Now I'll invert, invert the filter again, freeze FL1, now all those layers are frozen, and now I have just the foundation layers showing. Once again, I'll come back over here, I'll go to the layer state manager, I'll make a new layer state. This new layer state is going to be FND for foundation. I'll go ahead and close that out and now I can go back and forth among all three of those states. Now the value of this is um, that I can work on the uh, drawing by freezing and thawing various layers. But what I 
really want to do right now is to thaw them all out again. I'm just going to type dash LA, T for thaw, asterisk for everything, and I'm going to thaw all the layers, and why don't we just turn them all on as well. So now when I go to a, a layout, like a foundation layout, you notice that I've got only the foundation showing here. And the reason I have only the foundation showing here is because when I make the viewport active, I can go to the layer manager, open it up a little bit. There's a column that starts with a V, you can't read the rest of it, but it's called VP Freeze. And you notice that in the current viewport, there are a lot of layers that are frozen. If I go and look at all use layers, go to all layers, and get rid of invert, <clears throat> you'll see that under VP Freeze, there are a lot of layers that are frozen, but the ones that aren't frozen are the ones called FND-DIM. I did that by selecting in the VP layer column whether to freeze it or thought, and then you can create another layer state based on this. If I come back over here, I could say let's make a new layer state called FN, FND layout or FND VP for viewport. Pick OK. Now I can go back and forth there as well. Now there's a, another way I can do this and I'll show you a little trick at the command line. You know, it's like at the first floor, the second floor. So let's say on the first floor it looks like this. The second floor also looks like this. They haven't changed it yet. What I'm going to do is go into the viewport and at the command line I'm going to type VP layer. What will come up is a series of options that I can use for the viewport layer command. So I'm saying let's thaw asterisk all the layers in the viewport. Now let's freeze all but, that's the tilde, all but layers beginning with FL2 and ending in anything. That's the wildcard. So tilde FL2 wildcard, enter, enter, enter. Now that viewport shows only the second floor. This viewport shows only the first floor. Foundation shows only the foundation. I could also have done that using layer manager. It's just there's a little trick you can use uh, at the command line and because you can use it at the command line you can create a command that'll do that for you quite easily by just defining it uh, as an auto list uh, command. You could also save it as a tool button uh, using macro language. Um, and as long as we're here, you won't be doing this in the AEDD 160 class, the CAD applications class. Instead, what you'll be doing um, is writing list routines in the CAD management class. But just to give you a sense of what is coming, since we're talking uh, to uh, VLISP, load that program and see if it works. And it does. So that's just the first floor plan. So there's just a t taste of what you'll be doing when we start doing the CAD management class. And